Hey guys, it's Luna here, welcome back to another brand new console mods video, where we look at new mods each day, but also some upcoming mods if there's not enough new mods out, which there usually isn't. Before we start, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy, and follow me on Twitter as well to see the current mods I have installed. Anyway, let's jump into the first mod. Our first mod is called Realistic Destruction Damage Enchantment and Rings, a simple mod that adds a fortified destruction damage scaling enchantment, which may be preferable to the standard destruction cost reduction enchantment. The vanilla fortified reduction enchantment simply reduces magic costs, which leaves some of your favorite spells weak or useless as you continue to level up. This mod attempts to fix that and give you the option to decide which destruction spells to use. Essentially, the enchantment is based on the effect of the fortified destruction potion. How to acquire it? Well, a handful of rings can be found sitting on the edge of the upstairs dresser on the Riverwood Trader. Overall, a simple mod but a useful one to improve your destruction skills in game. Our next mod is a new follower called Vostina. The mod adds a new follower who comes with her own house that you can use as a player home if you want to. First up, a bit about her backstory though. After serving the Empire as one of their best assassins for years, she was rewarded with reassignment. She was placed in a deep cover as a farmer outside of Windhelm, which is where her house is located. Her mission is to gather information on Stormcloak movements and report back to General Tullius. She misses her former status as an assassin and longs for excitement and adventure. That's where the Dragonborn comes in to satisfy that desire. So to find her, look for her new farmhouse outside of Windhelm. It's not on the map, but if you go beside the other two farmhouses, you will see it. Her race is Imperial, of course. She levels up to 101. She is essential, can be married, and she's deadly with a bow and can dual wield daggers. For skills, she is good in one-handed, alteration, archery, light armor, and sneak. And while she is a standalone, she does not come with her own body meshes and textures. She will use whatever one you have installed. Overall, a very cool follower mod. She looks good, and she is very good in combat as well. Our next mod is called the Enchanting Skill Overhaul. The mod tries to overhaul enchantments in game by altering the following stuff. It changes each of the vanilla perks to do different or additional things, adds transient enchantment spells that are learned through selecting specific perks. These spells will slowly level your enchanting skill and represent some of the vanilla weapons or armor enchantments as well. Since these spells add enchantments to your weapons, the perks also increase the number of enchantments that you can add to weapons. The extra effects perks double your maximum to give you a total of 6 perks that you can select. Also with this mod you can now craft soul gems at the forge using glass and gemstone. You can also make black soul gems if you have human hearts as well. Our next mod is a special edition PC mod waiting to be poured to Xbox One. The mod is called Legacy of the Dragonborn. The Legacy of the Dragonborn is steeped in prophecy, myth, legend and history itself. Explore forgotten lore and uncover the lost relics of the seven Dragonborn of the bygone eras of Tamriel. From those merely mentioned in title to those who wielded the power of the voice, many legendary and influential people have held the title of Dragonborn, and they all link to the Lost Covenant of Akatosh. The aim of the mod is to explore and discover lost places, artifacts and history, build the guild house from the ground up as the guild master, then recruit new members, each with their own unique backstories and special guild functions. Explore ruins and excavate relic fragments to to reassemble into artifacts to display in the museum, set up a guild store with the quartermaster and much more. Overall an awesome mod and one I can't wait to see when it comes out for Xbox One as it adds in a lot more lore and history to the game. Our final mod is a Game of Thrones mod again, seems like there are quite a lot of these out lately. The mod is an armor mod and adds to the game the Stormborn dress. Create a craftable light armor and wearable dress at the forge. The armor has an armor ring, the same as glass armor, but it is found under the leather category. It is only the dress only however, and it doesn't come with any boots, gloves or helm, so your overall armor rating will of course be less than that of a set of glass armor, depending on what you wear with it. The armor is for females only, and the dress is an armor, so it can be refined to improve it, and can also be enchanted as well. So if you want to roleplay as Daenerys in game, or you have a female follower who you want to be the breaker of chains, then try out this mod. Hopefully we continue to see more Game of Thrones mods added to Skyrim on consoles. So guys, there we have it, 5 more mods for Skyrim to look out for or download now. It's been a very slow time for mods, so we don't have many big mods out, which is why these videos are kind of short lately, and the mods aren't too exciting, but hopefully they pick up soon. Anyway, that's about it for this video, if you enjoyed, leave a like and comment, I really do appreciate it, and subscribe and turn on notifications for more daily updates and guides for Skyrim and other games each day. But with that being said guys, stay awesome, and I will see you all next time.